Welcome back. You're watching Newsnight here on ENCA. Now, as we head into the holiday season, some of us, unfortunately, will not have the pleasure of breaking away from the city to catch a glimpse of the Big Five. But no worries, as the creatives at Habitat XR are bringing the wildlife straight to your phone. The Notes on Nature app uses mixed reality to create a space where South Africans can immerse themselves in nature by simply pulling out a banknote and scanning it with their phone. Here to tell us more and how this all works, um, and also to chat to us about the app is Ulrico Grechkumbo, uh, Habitat XR CEO. I tried my best <laughs> with your surname. I do apologize if I uh, mispronounce, but welcome to Newsnight. Lovely to Thank have you. you here. Great to be here. So this is a very interesting conversation. It's called the Notes on Nature app. What exactly is it all about? How does it function? So yeah, Notes on Nature comes from um, I suppose the the philosophy that that underscores the company, um, which is that people are sadly disconnected from nature. Mm. Um, a great number of uh, people across the whole continent really don't have access to these pristine wildernesses. Which, I mean, we're living in a, a, a time and age where it's harder and harder, more expensive and more elite than ever to be able to access nature. Mm. Um, and so the insight behind the app really came from a place of trying to democratize access to nature, trying to keep people connected. Um, and we have some of the most beautiful banknotes in the entire world. Yeah. Um, but it's not just pretty artwork on a banknote. It represents our natural heritage, our mm -hmm. natural, cult, uh, you know, our cultural heritage, really. Um, so the app is designed for people who have access to a little bit of money and a mobile phone to be able to kind of get that immersive experience. Mm -hmm. I want to ex uh, expand on a point that you've made with regards to access to uh, the wilderness and to nature. Why do you think there are such... Um, Block it, blocks to to this. What what is the the reason why um, we are seeing a decline in access when it comes to our wildlife and ultimately the big five? Yeah, big time. I mean, there there are really are so many factors. There are historical factors. Um, there's the you know history of colonization where people were kind of kicked off land um, to make spaces you know for 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 people to to hunt, which has become uh, national parks and is now an eco tourist uh, activity. Um, there's financial disparity. Um, there is a growing human population um, which puts pressure on land. Uh, we need a place to live and so we displace um, these pristine wildernesses uh, to be able to, to create uh, you know, communities and cities and towns and that sort of thing. And yeah, the industrial age has really um, you know, spurred that displacement of nature. And mm -hmm. so we often see ourselves as very separate. We, firstly, we human beings don't really think of themselves or ourselves as just one of many species of animals. There's humans and there's animals and then there's cities and there's nature you leave cities to get to nature but mm -hmm. it's not really you know it's it's truly it is one ecosystem but it's just become that disconnected mm. um and so yeah there, there is a huge access problem not just in south africa although it's very prevalent here but you know all over the continent i was just in kenya the stats in kenya are that five percent of kenyans actually ever get to see their own national parks wow and it's, it's the same here but how do, how do we then change that introducing platforms like this it's a good question, um, and this is where we're kind of coming into it. Um, so, so our focus is on using immersive technologies like virtual reality, 360 video, augmented reality, holograms, um, to be able to create um, immersive enough experiences for people to keep that connection alive, where physical access isn't possible, mm -hmm. where it's tremendously expensive, and mm -hmm. it's becoming more and more expensive to, sure. to access these areas. Yeah. We've seen the development of, of AI and augmented reality over the last couple of years, but how realistic is it? Obviously, I haven't experienced it. You have. Does it feel like you're out there um, on a safari, perhaps? Yeah, I mean, there, there are lots of different technologies. And so, um, you know, the thing that we've been doing for about nine and a half years now, how we started Habitat XR, uh, was 360 video. So that's live action. You're putting a camera in a wild space. Sure. Uh, and then a person is watching that back on a set of VR goggles. And the very exciting thing, uh, we've always suspected this and known this. We've put about half a million people through VR experiences um, that we've created. Um, now, Stanford University and Oxford have done studies that are proving or have proved that there's a physiological experience that a person watching VR goes through that is indistinguishable from the real experience. Really? So that opens the door to the potential of creating empathy and environmental culture change, which we just believe is so incredibly important uh, in the modern day and age. Yeah, definitely. So it works by scanning 
a banknote, a South African banknote. What is the process, and how does how does that what what, in, what goes into creating that sort of platform? I mean, this must have taken months and months of, of development. Talk to us about how it's been developed, and also just that mechanism of how you go about scanning your banknote, and then what pops up. Yeah, well, shout out to the the, the, the crazy uh, technologists <laughs> at, at Habitat XR, a very very bright young uh, group of people. Um, who are able to put this together in between doing the, the kind of commercial work that, that keeps us in business. But mm. this app is free uh, and it, it makes use of two technologies. So it uses augmented reality technology so that the app can recognize what banknote is put in front of the camera. Sure. And then it uses 360 video and the gyro sensors in your phone basically that can sense when a phone is being tilted and turned around. Mm -hmm. um, and so it detects what the animal is on the note, a rhino on your 10 rand note for example and then prompts a 360 video of a scene that we filmed out in the Kruger National Park, for example, uh, of a group of white rhinos uh, congregated around our camera. Interesting. So who, who is the target market? Because you've just mentioned that this is a free app. Uh, are you hoping to get this app integrated into the schooling system? Like, who are you hoping will be your target market here? Yeah, look, it's an app for all South Africans. If you've got a bang note in your pocket, then the app is for you. And if you don't? If you don't, well, um, <laughs> th there are a couple of ways to, to, to kind of um, move around that. I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll give you the cheat sheet. Google image the note. You can scan ah, it on your computer of screen. Of course. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that, it's, it's really about trying to keep South Africans connected with their natural heritage, irrespective of age. Uh, I mean, we, we've seen people from all walks of life download the app and engage with us uh, and, and the app. And, and you know, it's very simple and the app will grow from here and we'll probably add additional currencies um, yeah. in celebration of keeping that connection from what's in your pocket to, to what's out yeah. there in the wild world. Yeah, that was going to be my next uh, question, you know, expanding the app. What, what else do you guys have uh, lined up and, and how are you going to ensure that this app continuously grows and, and keeps people interested? Yeah, so I mean, I, I think we want to we wanna shine a light on, on the amazing field work that's being done to conserve our famous Big Five. Uh, there are incredible organizations, uh, you know, in South Africa. Um, but I think this also goes beyond that. I think it goes, uh, you know, to, to the fact that I was telling one of your producers backstage that um, the more we think about it, the more nature we come to notice on other people's banknotes. You know, Namibia's got wildlife on its notes. Saudi Arabia does. Rwanda has as well. Um, and so there are population groups all over the world that have the same problem of um, access or lack of access mm. to nature. Yeah. So are they uh, accessible on the on the usual app stores? Yeah. Or how do you go about downloading this? Yeah, app Google Play phone? Store, Apple App Store. The, uh, the app is available right now for free. We officially launched it about a week ago. Um, so yeah. Amazing. Well, congratulations on the official launch. And thank, thank you, you very much for educating us uh, on this app. A really interesting platform. I'm definitely going to check it out. Thank, thank you very you so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. My absolute pleasure. Well, that was Ulrico uh, Grishkumbo, Habitat XR CEO, chatting to us about Notes on Nature. It's a brand new app and it is free on all uh, app downloading platforms where you can immerse yourself uh, in South Africa's uh, wildlife and have a look at the big five right there on your cell phone. Just make sure you have uh, a banknote or a Google image of a banknote, says Ulrico as well. Very interesting conversation.